your sense of um, just what an incredible institution uh, UMass is and what it means to the state? I mean, it's their campus is located throughout the state, all playing a dramatic role in terms of economic impact in every area of the state. And, um, you know, the, each campus has certain, they're unique, but there's something similar and special to all of them, and, and that is that, that they're literally transforming uh, students' lives. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I think it's, it's powerful what's happening on the campus. I actually like the fundraise. Um, you know, when I was in the Congress, I was known as a very aggressive fundraiser. Uh, this fundraising for university is so much more important and rewarding. You know, it's not like you're raising money for 30-second ads that, that really don't, don't inform anything. Uh, it, uh, but, but we need Stay to... Stay out of the tank. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but we... Um, uh, so I really like the fundraise um, mm -hmm. and uh, intend to do a lot of it. I'm a big believer in experiential learning, uh, internships, co-ops, because I think that to the extent that you can connect what's happening in the classroom to what's happening in the real world in a job-like setting, you do two things. One is you help companies. Uh, secondly, you, you help students. Uh, students are more likely to, to get a job when they, when they leave, and companies really like them. So I want to expand that. I'm going to be meeting with CEOs throughout the, I've begun to do it, uh, meet with C CEOs, listening to what their concerns are, getting a perspective about what, uh, you know, what, what the state's only public research university ought to be doing in terms of interacting. Question is, is, does the fact that the flagship is not in Boston, it's not in a high population area, is that an impediment to fundraising? Does it matter? Uh, is it an advantage to fundraising? Advantage to being in Amherst. I mean, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, there are other great universities and colleges right in the same area. It's a destination spot. If you look at the number of applications coming into UMass Amherst and look at the quality of the students and look at the quality of the research and the quality of the faculty, the location is working. Also recognition that as the flagship goes, so go the other campuses. And, you know, I think if you want to talk history, I think that sometimes in history, uh, some of the folks at UMass Amherst would be really focused on looking at the rearview mirror at Lowell and at Boston, when in reality, I wanted to look out the front windshield at Cal Berkeley and some of the, you know, the, the great public universities in America. So, do you think the cooperation amongst the, the, the entire system has improved? Over, is it simply leadership in each? Leadership on each campus. Uh, I think that uh, recognizing that collaborating is is a lot better. For an academic institution than than being competitive, I when when I got to Lowell, I you know there's other, in the other campus it's all it's all oh Amherst gets everything oh Amherst is a flagship, and you know I would say to the faculty at Lowell look, this is where Amherst is in terms of their freshman success rates. This is where Amherst is in terms of their graduation rates, and I don't see anybody any faculty member at this university sign in to a uh, a seminar that they go to or or. or faculty meetings or research uh, meetings anywhere in the country or any, anywhere in the world where you're, you're writing in the University of Lowell. You know, you use UMass and use it up front. You know why? Because UMass brand is a better brand and that comes from Amherst. It comes from the flagship.